icon again, um, just doing a quick video, because I know this week we have, it's the, um, well, the finale, I guess finale week, you can call it. <laughs> um, last last week, so uh, last episodes of Gotham, uh, Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. wrapped up last week, Legends of Tomorrow wrapped up in April. And I um, just want to give a quick prediction because there's a lot of there's a lot of talk, you know, a lot of things that's going on between like the Flash, the whole Savitar situation, what's going to happen on Arrow, you know, Supergirl, blah blah blah. And I've been listening to a lot of different, you know, like other like social media outlets, a lot of videos on YouTube, and they're just like certain things that, that certain people just aren't bringing up. So I just wanted to quickly just you know give my thoughts about what I feel like is going to happen, you know, now that we're approaching. Well, now that we're here, you know, like today starts the um, the week of um, the week of all the finales. So first off, for Supergirl, uh, the, when we when we ended last, uh, Kara had got pimp slapped by <laughs> by the Man of Steel himself, and it looks like we're gonna get Supergirl versus Superman when the when today's show starts at eight o'clock. I'm actually doing this video on a Monday. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get Superman versus Supergirl. It should be cool, but I don't expect it to last that long. It'll probably go like the first segment, and then. You know, then uh, then you then it'll stop because you know it's Superman, so obviously he's not going to be bad the entire episode. But uh, as far as predictions are concerned, I mean, I don't really have too many like big predictions. I mean, I think James will continue to be Guardian. Um, you know, that's more of a hope <laughs> than an actual prediction. Um, I think that somebody in the cast will either die or be seriously injured um as a result of the you know as a result of the um you know the invasion and if i had to choose a person that i think is going to go i would probably choose maggie you know because i mean like going forward into you know into season three the maggie character is not really that important to the storyline um i also so i think i think maggie's gonna die magan magan uh, miss martian she's definitely coming back because um, you know, because um, Jean, he was he was incapacitated, and I gotta go back and watch the episode before that because I actually don't remember when he got <laughs> when he got taken out of commission, and then it just went from him like being out of commission to all of a sudden now like well he went from because I remember like he was there you know, and then in the next episode he was laying on the table and I was like okay yeah, I missed something when did that happen but yeah but Miss Martian's gonna come back she's gonna break Jean out of the coma. And, you know, that's how they're going to, that's how they're going to end the show. But, um, I mean, prediction, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, not really like a whole lot of prediction. Monel, he's probably going to get sucked into the black hole and end up God knows where. You know, I don't, I don't think, and that's another thing, like, I don't think Monel stays either. I think Maggie dies, Monel gets sucked into the black hole, Miss Martian comes back, Cat Grant obviously doesn't come back, and you know, Superman, Supergirl, like, they, they'll be fine. And and I think going into season three, Lena Luthor will be the dominant... Well, she'll, she'll be more on the villain side in, in season three. But they did also say that Zod was supposed to show up tonight. So if that holds true, then Zod's obviously going to be the villain of next season. But the Le Lena will find out that Kara is Supergirl tonight. So that's my prediction for that. Uh, now, The Flash. Now, here, here's my prediction with The Flash. Like, I, I mean, I don't really have an opinion about the whole Savitar situation. And, you know, I've already said before, first of all, like, Iris West is, you know, my favorite character. I mean, she's by far, like, the, you know, the hottest woman on all of, well, shit, all, all of television right now. So I like Iris. And I don't realistically think they're going to kill Iris. I mean, hell, if they, if, if Iris West actually got killed, I'd probably stop watching the show. <laughs> so um, I think Iris is going to come back. You know, Iris will definitely come back. She's not going to stay dead. I don't know how they're going to do it, but, you know, she's not going to stay dead. Um, Jay Garrick's obviously going to come out of the, um, the Speed Force prison. You know, that's going to happen. Jesse might come back tonight. We might get a Jess Jesse Quick might come back tonight. But here, here's my prediction. And this is the one thing that nobody's bringing up. Because a lot of people are saying, like, oh, H.R. Wells is going to take Iris's place, you know, using the, um, the face thing to change the appearance and H.R. Wells is going to be the one to die instead. Now, I'm not saying that's not going to happen. I do feel like there is a possibility that H.R. Wells will take her place and he'll probably, you know, take the, you know, take the death blow, you know, in place of, um, in place of Iris. But my whole thing is this, that's not H.R. Wells. The entire, cause see, when, 
when they had Julian like connected to the machine and he was talking, uh, and Savitar was talking through Julian, Savitar on more than one occasion referred to HR as the fake Wells and the pretender. He said that a couple of times. And then he was like, oh, you're still pretending, pretender, you're still pretending to be the fake Wells. And he kept calling him fake Wells. And then when Wells used that machine, because when, when they were like, oh, you're, you know, you're Harrison Wells, he's supposed to be dead. And then he was like, no, it's cool. Using this device, I'll transform into a different person. And this way people won't know that I'm H.R. Wells. The person, the face, the whoever the face is, the person whose face he turns into that's not a hologram. That's who he actually is. And it's the HR fit HR like HR Wells, Harrison Wells, that's the hologram. He's pretending to be HR Wells because he keeps talking about like his partner. He's like, oh, on Earth 19, I have a partner. I have a partner, my partner and I. And I refuse to believe that there's a stupid Wells in the multiverse. And if and if and if Earth nineteen Wells has a partner, it's more inclined that Harrison Wells from Earth nineteen is the genius. His partner is the idiot, but he's the one that comes up with all the cool ideas. So when Harrison Wells from Earth nineteen solved the um, the equation that that Cisco had put out to the multiverse. His assist, like he probably decided, like yeah, I solved this equation, but I don't have time to deal with whatever these people want me to do. I think the assistant took that machine, turned himself into 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 Harrison Wells, and he went to Earth One pretending to be Harrison Wells from Earth Nineteen. Mark my, which is why because there was a synopsis for season three that H.R. Wells would be part of the cast. They were just like along with. You know, Iris West, you know, Cisco Ramon, you know, H.R. Wells. He was brought up as being part of the cast. But then everybody was like, well, if he got brought up in the synopsis for the next season, season four, if he got brought up in the synopsis for season four, you know, how does he, you know, replace Iris and get killed? And that's because that's not a that's not Harrison Wells. The guy who will die is Harrison Wells's partner pretending to be Wells. And at the end of the episode tomorrow, the real H.R. Wells will come to Earth One and be like, hey, my partner's been missing for like six, seven, eight months. What's going on? Then he's going to find out that he died because he took Iris in place. So that's my prediction. Um, yeah, but other than that, that's really the only thing I got with the Flash. Now, Arrow... Now, Arrow... <laughs> Arrow's been good this season. Arrow's actually been my favorite out of all the shows this season. And, you know, if you were a person who you know, hated on Arrow for seasons three and seasons four. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but you can't deny, like, season five has been the ish, and if you're not watching Arrow right now, like, there's something wrong with you. So, predictions for Arrow. First of all, when Oliver, Nyssa, and Malcolm Merlin were on the plane going back to Lee and Yu, I think, I think, Roy, Ragman, and maybe Katana were in the back of the plane with them. Because when they showed the wide shot of the plane that they were using to fly to Lee and Yu, the plane was really long. Like, it was a long-ass plane. And just because we didn't see them doesn't mean they're not there. So I think I think Roy Ragman and Katana are in that plane. So they're going to show up on Lee and Yu to help out. Um, we're going to get a Canary versus Canary battle between um, between Laurel and, um, and Dinah Drake. I think, I feel that Oliver won't kill Prometheus. Someone else is going to kill Prometheus, maybe Slade. But my prediction for Arrow at the end of at the end of the episode after after they they kill Prometheus and they take out, you know, Talia's forces or whatever the case may be, Slade's going to turn on Oliver. Slade's cuz like I don't see Slade just being perfectly fine, you know, with everything that's going on, you know, and just being like sure kid, you know, you broke me out of prison, all bygones. No, like Slade will help Oliver get rid of Prometheus and then Slade's going to turn on him and he's probably going to hit him with the line of nobody kills you but me kid and then that's a promise and then he's going to leave. So Slade's going to betray him. Um, Captain Boomerang's gonna get away because he's gonna need to show up on next season The Flash because I think they're gonna end up doing like the Rogues Gallery because they already got Mirror Master, you know, they got the Trickster, 
you know they're gonna pull Leonard Snart out of the out of um out of time like, out of time again, and you know so all they're missing is um all they're missing is Captain Boomerang, and Captain Boomerang is on is on Arrow, so he's gonna break out of the prison too, and he's gonna end up on Flash next season. Uh, Thea, Thea and Thea and um Evelyn Sharp because I refuse to call that chick Artemis. Thea and Evelyn Sharp will have a fight, and I think. Thea will kill Evelyn and then she'll be officially done, period. And she'll disappear. Some people did predict that Thea will die on Wednesday. I don't think Thea's gonna die. But I also feel that like, I feel like I also feel like Malcolm Merlin, because when in season four, Damien Dark had those yellow pills that turned people into mindless zombies. I think that Malcolm Merlin kept some of those pills. And if Thea kills Evelyn Sharp and Thea's like, I can't do this, I gotta get away, I gotta get away, and Thea leaves. Thea leaves and she goes away. I think next season, Thea's gonna come back as a villain. She's gonna be Cheshire and she's gonna be working for Malcolm Merlin, um, dressed up as Cheshire. Whether or not Malcolm will use those yellow pills to drug her remains to be seen because she might be drugged and she might just decide, you know what, screw it. I'm destined to be a bad person. Because the whole season, Thea's been like teetering with like, oh, am I a good person? Am I a bad person? Am I a good person? I think next season, even if it's Earth 2 Thea and she comes to Earth 1 dressed as Cheshire, my pr my prediction basically is at some point, um, Willa, Willa Holla, Holland, Willa Hollow, Holland, <laughs> the actress that plays Thea, next season will be a bad guy and she will be Cheshire. That's my, um, that's my prediction for for Arrow. As far as the flashbacks are concerned, obviously Oliver kills Kovar. Um, he kills Kovar. Uh, he puts the beard on because Anatoly gave him like a makeup kit with a fake beard. Um, and I think we do see the scene, we'll see a scene with Oliver on the boat being taken back to Star City. And the, sh the season, the, 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 show will, the show will end with, with the boat approaching, with Oliver's boat approaching Star City and then it's gonna and then it's gonna cut off. We might get we might get a cameo from um from the actress who plays his mom. She might you know, she she might pop up, you know, just to get a phone call that's like, Oh my god, they found my baby. Like we, we might get we might get a cameo from the mom, but yeah, but the show's but this the, the this season's gonna end with him on the boat looking at Star City, wearing like the fake beard and you know, like all, all the other stuff. Um I'm trying to think, is there anything else for Arrow that I could think of? I mean, Curtis obviously comes back. Um, Laurel will be 50-50 on being a good guy versus a bad guy. And then at some point next season, they're going to find a way to get Dinah Drake off the show or reduce her role as far as like being a vigilante. Maybe she'll get a desk job at, um, at, at, you know, at Starling City, uh, at Star City uh, Police Department. Basically, like Earth 2, Laurel Black Siren will become Black Canary. And she'll take over full time as as she's supposed to. Elicity is dead, and next season Black Siren and Oliver Queen will get back together because Oliver Queen on Earth Two was dead, and you know, and and I think Captain Lance on Earth Two is dead too, which is what forced which which is what forced Earth Two Laurel to go to Central City, get hit with the particle accelerator, the particle accelerator, and you know, develop the power. So. Her and Oliver are going to be together, and Elicity is officially dead. Uh, I'm 50-50 on... I'm making this prediction. I'm, it's not going to happen Wednesday, but it may happen at some point before Arrow ends, because they did hint that on Earth 2, Robert Queen is the Green Arrow because Oliver is the one that died on the boat. At some point before Arrow ends, Robert Queen from Earth 2 will come to Earth 1 dressed as the Green Arrow, and Myra Queen from Earth 2 will come to Earth 1 dressed as Speedy. <laughs> so that's uh that's my future prediction for uh for Arrow. And you know, Renee gets his daughter back, you know, blah blah blah. You know, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it with Arrow. Um as far as Gotham is concerned, I mean Gotham's been a you know, I like Gotham. Gotham's a good show. Um I can't really make a prediction for Gotham because Gotham's so crazy. It's hard to make a prediction because it's like I actually don't know what's going to happen. The only thing about Gotham that I know right now is that is that um, Lee Tompkins is being a complete biatch, <laughs> and I think tonight she finds out the truth that her um, her husband, her fiance, husband, whatever, tried to kill her, 
and then she'll feel completely she'll feel like shit for trying to get Jim Gordon like fired and arrested this whole time. And I think eventually like, the two of them they'll probably like they're not gonna get together because we all know like Lee Tompkins she grows up to become old and and she basically gives Bruce Wayne counseling, you know, while he's doing the Batman thing. But they may not get back together, but Lee will discover the truth and she will have and, they, and again they're not gonna get back together, but she's gonna have sex with Jim Gordon one more time. But um, whether or not they get together, that's irrelevant. Bruce will come back to Gotham. He'll ki- Bruce will no. Bruce will come back to Gotham. Selena will kill his clone, which is why the two of them will no longer be friends because he'll do the whole "I can't believe you killed him," and then she'll be like, you, "He pushed me out of a window," you know. And Bruce will be set on the path. Bruce is Bruce is on the path to becoming Batman. So he's gonna do some stuff next season, which will put him on the the verge of being Batman. So. But again, but I said there's not really like a lot of big predictions to make with Gotham. With Gotham, you just gotta watch it and like whatever happens, happens. Um, Agents of Shield, you know, Agents of Shield, like the ending for Shield was a little yeah for me, you know, like the the ending of it, it wasn't as epic as I thought it would be. I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't as epic as I thought it would be. But the one thing that kind of disappointed me about, you know, about Agents of Shield, the ending of Agents of Shield, they missed a golden opportunity to bring back Trip and bring back Grant Ward. A good version of Grant Ward and bring back Trip because Trip was my favorite character and they killed him. You know, so I'm a little salty behind the fact that, you know, they get, they got rid of Trip to begin with because they never should have killed him to begin with. Like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has this weird thing of, like, rotating black people. <laughs> you know, so once Mac showed up, it was like, because it was almost like you had, um, you had Adrian, you had, not Adrian Pierce, but, um, Pierce, the, um, the human cyborg guy, you know, the black dude who was the cyborg, you had him for a while, and then once you introduced Trip, you got rid of, you know, you got rid of him, and then once you got, then once Mac showed up, then Trip, you know, then you got rid of Trip, so there's never, like, more, and then, and then, and then, you know, they brought in, um, they brought in May's, you know, husband, who was the doctor, you know, whatever, the black dude who was, who was playing the doctor, and then they killed him. So, if you're a black, well, and then and the, even, like, the black woman, there was that black female, she had that eye thing that got put into her, you know, that got put into her system, where she was, like, working, she was temporarily working for the bad guys because she had, like, an artificial eye put into her system. They never brought her back either, so I'm like, where the hell are all the black characters, aside from Mac? But anyway, <laughs> um, no, but they could have, they should have brought back Trip. That was the perfect chance to bring back Trip, and they blew it. They could have brought back Ward, and they blew it. So I am salty behind that. But the daughter, like, I understand why they didn't bring the daughter back, because if you bring the daughter back, it's going to be hard for him to, like, grow up with this, like, you know, with this, like, newly created version of his daughter. And he would have to explain that to his ex-wife at some point, you know, and, like, that's not going to go over. That's going to be very uncomfortable. So... I get why you wouldn't bring back the daughter, but you got to bring back Trip and Grand Ward. So I think next season they're doing Agents of um, Sword because they're in outer space. They're in outer space. And I would not be surprised if them being in outer space next season ties into the whole in Avengers Infinity War where Agents of Sword will show up in the Infinity War along with Agent Coulson and the rest of S.H.I.E.L.D. to help take down Thanos. So that might be the tie-in to all of these things that you know that people have been looking for you know because they but they def, they definitely need like a tie-in like hell like with all these avenger characters like get one person to show up on shield you know besides nick fury before the before the series is over so but that's where um that's pretty much where i see where i see shield going and yeah and as far as legends is concerned you know like they killed they killed their at their kill they killed their aberrations their time remnants their aberrations whatever you want to call them Everybody died on <laughs> on Legends of Tomorrow, and now they're stuck in they're stuck in Los Angeles with like dinosaurs and like all this weird shit. And I, you know, and the thing about like somebody needs to explain at some point where are the legends as far as like reality and the timeline is concerned. Because if they're in Los Angeles and there are dinosaurs in Los Angeles and knights and weird things all this weird stuff in los angeles if this is the case at some point on flash or arrow i need somebody to say hey in the midst of us taking down savitar and taking down you know prometheus why are there dinosaurs in los angeles nobody has even mentioned the fact that there are just these magical dinosaurs running around in los angeles and i need someone to bring that up the fact that nobody on flash or arrow has brought up the fact that there are dinosaurs in los angeles it says to me that the legends aren't on the earth one timeline and they're probably somewhere else completely 
and they need to explain that when the show comes back because if the show comes back and they're like yeah we're still in the same universe with flash and arrow why is nobody mentioning these dinosaurs in los angeles <laughs> so that's pretty much it oh and um next season for legends of tomorrow we will get amaya and mari we will have vixen meeting vixen next season and i hope nate is not her grandfather so that's pretty much it like i said those those are my predictions for finale week on um superhero television you know anybody that likes the video if you agree with the predictions let me know if you don't but if any if you don't agree with anything that i say or if you do agree with anything that i say i just made this video for one purpose and that's just to put on record I was right when it happens. So thanks for tuning in. You know, just saying, see you soon. Look out for, um, got some, you know, I got some Injustice coming pretty soon. Some more Street Fighter when the character comes out. And, you know, who knows? Like after the finale week of, um, of Superhero TV is over, I'll probably just do a video just to give you an I told you so. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, see you guys later. Take care.